Over the weekend, Draymond offered a public apology for the incident that took place last week, and he announced that he was going to be taking a little bit of a break away from the team after that altercation. So in case you missed it, here's Draymond in his own words. I was wrong for my actions that took place on Wednesday. And for that, um, you know, I have apologized to my team. Um, I have apologized to Jordan. And, you know, um, I wanted to take that a step further. Uh, you know, with, with the event yesterday, uh, with the video leaking, um, there's a huge embarrassment that comes with that. Not, not only for myself, as, as, as I was the one that committed the action, the embarrassment that comes for me uh, it is what it is, and that's something that I have to deal with. But the embarrassment uh, that Jordan has to deal with and that this team has to deal with, that this organization has to deal with, but also uh, Jordan's family. You know, uh, his family saw that video. Um, his mother, his father saw that video. And quite frankly, I, if, if my mother saw that video, I know how my mother would feel. I know what her next react. I know what her reaction would be, and I know what her next step would be. And so, for that, I apologize to his mother and his father, and you know, his family, his friends uh, that care for him, uh, because that is a that is a a sense of or a level of embarrassment that they have to deal with too. Um, I apologize to this organization. You know, we 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 just won a championship uh, in nine days, ten days. There will be a ring ceremony. My family will be here. His family will be here. I'm sure they'll be here. And quite frankly, that's an elephant in the room. That's something that, uh, you know, it, it's weird, you know. And on, on a night where it should be um, celebration and love, and it still will be, um, but there is like this, this, this dark cloud in the room, and I caused that. Yeah, I'm going to... Um, you know, continue to stay away as I've been away, um, and you know, continue to do work on myself as I always like to do. Really, just take 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 some time and let 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 everything breathe. Okay, there was a lot a lot to unpack there, and, and Perk, I want to start with you. What what were your reactions to Draymond's press conference? Well, well, one you got to applaud them for 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 issuing out an apology, not only to the Jordan Poole and the organization, but Poole's family, okay? I get that. But it's more embarrassing to Draymond as well because a lot of people lost a lot of respect for him for the way that this incident went down. Y'all know this, is that never bring your personal problems into the locker room. The locker room is supposed to be your sanctuary. The locker room is supposed to be where you're supposed to be able to go, have practice, sit down with guys and, and tell stories and kind of vent with, with other guys that are probably de dealing with similar situations for us yourself. And so with that being said, I just wish that Draymond, because I had to go through this as the emotional guy, I had to go get counseling. I went to anger management. And I would encourage him to do the same because it's not just this one incident. This, is, this has been a pattern. We saw what happened with him and Kevin Durant, the disrespect, the word that he called KD and things to that nature, his temper tantrums that he throw on the sideline every now and then throughout the course of the season. He has to get that under control. I mean, obviously, he knows he made a mistake. We know he made a mistake. He apologized to everyone involved, um, and, and we get that. Um, to me, the next step is just kind of understanding where does this team go from now. And, and, and as I mentioned earlier, this is a veteran team that, although this was ugly, this happens a lot. This happens a lot. The video doesn't get leaked, but fights happen. So how does this team move on from this? Obviously, Draymond has taken some time and giving everyone some space. How their relationship moving forward will be, I'm not sure. But what I do know is both these guys are very laser focused when it comes to playing basketball. Jordan Poole is an up and coming rising star. The team knows that, he knows that, which I love. And then Draymond, when he's on the court, he's always making people better. So am I saying they'll be best friends moving forward? I doubt this, but I don't think Jordan Poole's going anywhere. I know the Warriors do not want to let him slide. Draymond Green's got a year plus an option, so he may be there, uh, you know, he, he's going to be there for the, for the, for the, CBO, uh, for the future. Um, so just my, my whole thing is, although this is a big deal, uh, the leak to me is a huge issue. I'm not excusing what Draymond did, but I think this team is going to be able to move past it. They're, they're not going to forget it, but they're going to have to move past this. And I think this, the team will still be able.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.